Hello, I'm Nestor with Everglades Technologies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mount or burn an ISO image onto a DVD or CD of your choice using Windows Image Disk Burn, uh, which is already built into Windows 7. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use one of the latest versions of Ubuntu, version 11. Uh, what we're going to do is simply double click on the ISO image itself. Windows Disk Image Burner should magically appear. Now what I'm going to do is double click on the ISO and Windows Disk Image Burner should magically appear. Select your disk burner. In my case, it's the DVD-R uh, Drive D. I have my blank disk inserted and um, I'm not going to choose to verify disk after burning, but uh, you get the point. Select burn and Windows just does the rest. Simple as that. Now for those of you who are using an XP, a Windows XP operating system, you might have to go online and download a, a program. There's tons of programs out there. For the sake of this demonstration, we're going to use a free program that I like to use for the, the Windows XP OS. All right, just open up your favorite browser. And on the search bar, type in ISO recorder. And it should be the first link that you see right here. Click on the link. In my case, I'd select the uh, Windows Vista, Windows 7 version. But if you're using XP, I urge you to use uh, one of the, the earlier versions. Um, can you say version 2? Version 2 should suffice. You click on it. You download. I have a 64-bit operating system. If you have a 32-bit operating system, then you select the 32-bit version. Now, if you're not sure which version you are running, in Windows 7 or Windows XP alike, you go to Start or Windows in um, Windows 7. Right-click on my computer. Go to Properties. And as you can see here, my system type is a 64-bit OS. And it'll look a little bit different on XP, but you should be able to see it with no problem. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version. And just follow the installation wizard. Next. Next. The ISO recorder is a very light program and it's to me it's very simple to use fairly very easy to use um, if you're not like a, an advanced you know computer whiz it's as simple as right clicking on the the ISO or the CD that you want to copy and ISO recorder just does the rest Let that install. And since that's done, now once ISO Recorder is already installed, you're going to see um, that the icon for the ISO is going to change just a little bit. But uh, I'm just going to I'm going to show you briefly how easy it is and how simple it is to burn an ISO or mount an ISO onto a CD. Simply just double click, you know, source of the image file, which is on my desktop, that's correct. Uh, recorder to my D drive, which is my, uh, my DVD drive. And with the DVD, blank DVD installed, I'd hit next. ISO recorder takes the rest. Or if you're looking to make a copy, of a DVD or a CD. Now with the DVD or a CD that's already in your DVD drive, uh, with ISO Recorder installed, you can choose to create an image from a CD or DVD 
or copy a CD to a DVD. And it's a great program. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's, it's simple to use, and I recommend it for everyone, for anyone who's, who's not technically inclined. Um, and this is by far one of the easiest ways I can recommend for anyone to burn or mount an ISO image onto a CD. Once again, my name is Nestor with Everglades Technologies. Uh, this is a demonstration on how to burn an ISO image using a built-in Windows image disk burner and ISO recorder version 3.1. Thank you. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe this video, uh, or go to our website, www.etny.net. I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching.